Good afternoon. Today's video is 20 Kelsall Street, Warwicknabeel, on the market with Northwest Real Estate for $259,000. It's three bedrooms, one bathroom, three car spaces uh, on 881 square metres of land approximately. We'll uh, go and check it out inside. So we've just come inside the front door and we're greeted by a nice wide entry foyer. Swing around to the left and we've got the lounge room, split system air conditioner, it's reverse cycle as well, so it's air conditioning and heating. There's an old electric heater there, but you would use the split system. Not a bad size room. We'll go across the passage. We've got the master bedroom. Those robes stay. That'll give you some robes in the room. Once again, double size. I think that's a queen size bed in there, so still a good size room. Straight across is bedroom number two. Double size room again. Around the corner is the U Butte Modern Bathroom. It's done by local builders. So we've got a vanity hardwired heated towel, towel rail. Stepler shower with the two, the handheld one and the bigger one. The little nooks in the wall. Very handy for the shampoo bottles. And the toilet. And of course we have the uh, IXL up on the ceiling. Around the corner to the bathroom, which is also nice and modern. Electric stove, range hood, double sink, another split system. This one's not very old. Plenty of bench space and cupboards. Vinyl on the floor. A little study area here so we've got a phone four powerpoints and a uh, nice little area here put a desk get a bit of sunshine bedroom number three is the next room not as big this room but still good kids room with a built-in robe so just outside the back door is the laundry this is vinyl clad as well. So the whole house has been wrapped in vinyl cladding and the laundry. Pretty new trough. The burnt orange kitchen cupboards. Well, laundry cupboards, not kitchen cupboards, but the burnt orange laundry cupboards. Sorry about that. Around the corner, we've got the ladies' toilet. It's all neat and tidy. And there's a little storage room here. It's also got power in here. Somewhere to put uh, a few things, gardening things. We've got a rainwater tank with a pump beside it. Now these two garden sheds have power. The power comes from the house. We've come through the fence and we've to a little lean to which is between the two garden sheds concrete power all neat and tidy spot to put the lawnmower the wheelbarrow and stuff like that this garden shed across here doesn't have power but it's on a concrete slab and then we've got the dog run or the chick or the chicken yard or the veggie patch or whatever you want it to be In this case, it's the dog run. Pretty flash concrete slab for the dog. There used to be a garden shed on there, that's why it's been uh, concreted. So in more recent times, 
It's had the vinyl cladding put around. It's had a new roof put on it. Uh, the bathroom's been done up. The kitchen's been done up. And it's had a new electrical switchboard put on it. It's a gas instant hot water. And right in front of me is the Hills Hoist. Everyone that watches my videos loves the Hills Hoist. A lot of people comment on the Hills Hoist. This one's nice and straight, pretty square. It's a good example of good old fashioned Hills Hoist. They even got the arrow on it pointing down, just in case you didn't know which was up and which is down. Down the west side of the house now, and you can see a nice concrete drive leads to a single carport. We've got a bit of a shade cloth or shade sail area here, which uh, also used to park trailers under, I think. Then we've got this little carport here. Uh, get a sedan in there. You wouldn't get today's modern SUVs or four-wheel drive, but get a sedan in there, and there's gates there that go into the backyard as well. I've just opened up the garage. Nice sliding door. Once again, it's good, good setup. There's power in here. Uh, once again, it's a bit low. The new SUVs and four-wheel drive utes would struggle to get in here, but a sedan or a trailer or something would be fine. No worries. So as I said earlier, this is 20 Kelsall Street, Warwickville, on the market with North West Real Estate. For 259,000, three bedrooms, one bathroom, one car as a fan goes past. If you'd like any more information on this property, you can contact myself, John Hadley, on 0428 560 630. Thank you for watching my video.